All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Bayonetta 2. <clears throat> Excuse me, I was just drinking some water. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Welcome back, everybody. I am RDH Davis, and you know the drill. We're going to continue where we left off, so let's get started. How much money do we have? Ooh, we have a lot. Should we go shopping? Now let's just start. Let's let's try to collect about a one hundred thousand. Dude, I have no idea where the hell we're going. Oh, idea! Yeah, we're taking the shortcut to hell. Is this it? This is. Welcome to hell, love. Oh, okay, Too we're here. To repent. <gasps> These are the gates. Interesting. Whatever your friend did to get on the other side of these. Let's just say she's not having a good day. No, she isn't, little one. But she'd still be alive if she hadn't wasted her life saving mine. Mm. Huh? Well, she doesn't seem like such a bad friend after all. Aww. Fimble Venter can wait for now. I'm Aww. opening the gate. Well. Thank you. Oh, I can't just leave you at a shuttered gate after your sob story, love. <laughs> Besides, who's going to save you if our stalker decides to show up again? <laughs> All right, let's do this. <laughs> Try Friends. Hey. Okay. Ruins of what? Lost memory. This is so cool. Look. Welcome to hell. Not what I have imagined, what which is good. Do? I'm looking around. This is my first time in hell. Look at that. And sorry, guys. I'm the type of player that likes to look and admire the atmosphere and the architecture, the designs of every game. I don't just I don't just I don't just sped off and just continue with the main game. I like to like appreciate the hard work. Hey, Loki. Chill. I like to appreciate the hard work that these people did on creating this game. Appreciate their art. I can see the gates of hell. It's crazy. It's so... It's hell, but, you know, it's beautiful at the same time. But it's surrounded by a powerful barrier. I need to take care of the barrier if I want to get closer. So I forgot to mention in the beginning um, of this video. Uh, yes, but... Oh, I was about to shoot him. <laughs> Anyways, um, in the beginning... I forgot to mention in the beginning of this video that in the last episode... We had another epic boss fight with uh, the Lumen Sage, and we got confirmation that for sure that l other Lumen Sage we we've been fighting is 100% Bayonetta's father. How is he still alive? I do not know, but I'm pretty sure we'll get answers the more we continue on with this game. Look at that, it's so beautiful. Let's go. Let's just talk about hell. A seal. Hey! A seal. The seal of Metatron? <gasps> oh, the way to paradise! I gotta read this. Excuse me. The lake surrounding the base of Fimble Venter is said to extend deep underground, so deep that no one has ever seen its bottom. There are tales that God created a city that sleeps up along the lake bed that pushes that uh, punish, punishes any, any who approach it with eternal damnation. I thought it was probably just some story made up to scare kids, but some of the details were a little too worked out. They say this city is formed from the memories of God as he watched over the human world. It was made as a heaven 
as a haven to keep the chosen people, plants and animals safe from the judgment day would come. Oh, when the judgment day would come. Without the city, all life on the human world would simply be washed from existence with the world itself. <coughs> it's obviously that it's obviously not the most convenient place to get to, but God was, of course, aware of this. He made sure that there was a means of transportation that would carry the, the chosen ones to the to his city. The people referred to it as a as an ark. The ark was put together using special uh, earthen earthen elements that allowed it to move through water, like a submarine. Submarine? Submarine. Uh, if that thing really exists, I wonder if someone like me could make God's chosen one. <laughs> me could make God's chosen one list. Hmm. A seal. A seal that... A seal. That which is used to keep what is dangerous or important from the reach of others. When the human world was still new, they say there there used to be in, in, entran, entrances to Inferno and Paradiso all over, but with time they were almost all destroyed by the followers of God. Yet other entrance, entrance, entrances uh, were too large to be torn down by human hands. God sealed these gates away in almost impossible. Wait, God sealed these gates away in almost impossible to reach areas. Some so high that only the eyes could see, and some far, far under the water surface. He created impenetrable barriers around the doors so no one could ever enter. Makes sense. If you ever think about it in, in another way, this means that those in entrances still exist. They've simply been sealed away. And, that, and as they say, seals are made to be broken. <laughs> if the door's locked, all you need to do is find the key. Although I suppose the first problem you have to face is actually finding one of those gates in the first place. Well, we found it. And we're here. That's a nice picture right there. Alright. I'm coming into one. Stop sitting around. I'm not sitting around. I'm standing. I'm admiring the view. Hmm. Try to keep up. I'm trying that to one. <laughs> Are we going over there? Looks pretty. Guys, I can't help but to admire this place. It's it's cuz it, you know why I like this place a lot too? Not only because of the design and the architecture and everything, the atmosphere, but it has it like I said in the last episode, I love the combination of blue and purple and pink. That's my favorite my favorite color is blue, but I love it when purple and pink mix in together with blue. It's so pretty. I mean, look at that. This, this is like my aura color. So pretty. Stop sitting around. Oh no. What the heck are you? Cerberus? Breed. No, they don't. Close, darling. Whoa! You have a butt that does something too. So the tail. You've been naughty. You've been naughty. So the tail also does an attack too. Ooh! Coming, little one. <gasps> a 
What's that? There's something there. <laughs> what is this? Oh, okay, more stuff. Interesting. Can we fall down? Pretty sure we can, but I want to get over there. Is there a way we can get over there? There's a book. Hold on, that's a one. <coughs> ah! Oh. Does our health go down? I don't get to see. There we go. Oh. Found some secrets, little one. <laughs> That's a nice picture. Can I take a? I am, but hold on, dear. I'm trying to get a picture of this. <laughs> I had to take it. I had to take it. It's so pretty. This is also another good shot. Actually, yeah, with that. I'm sorry, guys, but I, 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 I like this place so much. There. <laughs> Thank you. All right, let's see what challenge this is. <laughs> you only deal damage with enemy weapons. Got it. Silver. Yeah, the damage is not good. One more heart. What was I gonna say? Um, when she breaks the seal, that eye seal, it ca it reminds me of the eye that from the the other game, the Evil Within. The Evil Within Two. There was an eye that looked like the same design. I'm done over here, little one. There. I'm coming. Uh, 
Let's get to know them. <laughs> Sorry I took some sorry I took I took so long. Now we gotta read Angels and Demons. Ooh, we're gonna go into a town or something. Hold on. Um Angels and Demons. While we call our own kind in this realm humans, we also give names to inhabitant inhabitants of other worlds as well. Beings from Paradiso are angels, and the creatures from Inferno Inferno are known as demons. Sometimes they're the focus of our worship, worship, and sometimes they're the source of our fear. You might not be able to see them, but you have but have you ever felt their presence? Their worlds are right next to ours. Sometimes they're standing right beside us. We are told that they're watching over the human world, but they've been sighted plenty of times as well. There are people who actually have the power to see these angels and demons. Looking at the descriptions and pictures they, th they leave behind, we usually see angels depicted as punishers of evil who lead the uh, Pios... Pi Pios or something to a land of overflowing with pure light. Demons get depicted as humans who have died unfortunate deaths or fallen angels who are reborn to spread death and suffering. Witches most likely get their bad reputation from their association with demons, even though the Umbra are just as human as we are. And when it comes down to it, we possess qualities of both angels and demons. True. While constantly doing anything to accomplish our own selfish ends which might make us the most terrifying creatures in existence i do believe that to be true i do believe that to be true and like they say we are our own worst demons it just depends on which we we choose to act on God, it's so beautiful here. Oh my goodness. Little one, where did you go? You go then. Let's see how you handle those demons. <laughs> nope. Now we can go through. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. There's something down there. Gold. We should have gotten more rewards. Oh, look. We should have done that. <laughs> oh, look. No, they disappeared. Why didn't we get them? I don't want to go down there. Because look, there's something down there. <gasps> Could we have gotten down there? We need to go back. Little one, I have to go exploring again. I'll be right back. It seems like we can go this way again.
going this way. There's a secret. <laughs> yeah, we got the last one. Our health increases. Yay. It's so beautiful here. Yeah, they can have children. Remember how I talked about that Bayonetta would make a great mom? The way she was with Cereza and now how she is with Loki? And I was like, no, but then again, she's a witch. I don't think she can have children. Can I make it? Yes, I can. But no, I mean, if her mom and dad were able to, you know, to have her, then yeah, she could have children too. How much do I have? Not enough. Do I dare? Now nah, we're saving up. Try to keep up. I'm trying. Gotcha. 7 out of 20. I know we missed a lot. Aren't we in a hurry? Yeah, we are, darling. Stop sitting around. <laughs> it's one of these things. There's no energy from the object. It doesn't seem like it's going to do anything as of now. <laughs> Oh, Just no. remembered. What the? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> oh, oh! oh, I just remembered. <laughs> what was that about? <laughs> oh, goodness. Another one of these things. Go Golem? Didn't we face Golem before in the first game? Running your moves. Ugh, kind of. Gold. Just remembered. Just remembered. Little one, where'd you go? Oh. Okay. <gasps> what? <gasps> Deja vu? Are we in Vigrid? 
No, we're not. Oh no, 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 no. Try to keep up. I'm trying. We're in Paradiso, though. Wait a minute. So, wait, 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 wait. So you're able to go open portals to heaven and hell, to Paradiso and Inferno. Wow, you have such abilities. I need something to open it. What? Okay, I'm coming. Hold on, but I see a book over here. Garden of God. <gasps> we missed something. Garden of God. In the past, God watched over the human world all by himself. The human world is always in a state of flux. Time flows endlessly, bringing death and new life. That which disappears is eventually forgotten. God felt mercy for existence and tried to grant them eternal e eternity with the remembrance of time. At intervals, he would quietly, I mean, at intervals, he would quietly appear in the human world and observe creation, slowly building remembrance of time. He created a special place to store the great deal of memories he had created. This place was known as the Garden of God, as described in children's stories as a place in the depths of Lake Noatan, Noatan, Noatun, or something, Noatun. Um, it is said to be full of places and things found in the lives of ancient civilization, civilizations cut off from the ebb of time. Sometimes, something tells me it wouldn't be the best place. Rena, playing Animal Crossing. Something tells me it wouldn't be the best place for your normal citizen to go, uh, wandering around. In. Even if the whole thing is just made up, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be me if I didn't at least try to find it. I really hope we didn't miss uh, a document. Okay. Well. You said you needed to charge. Hold on, little one. Looking around here. Can't go down. Lovely soundtrack in this game. Oh, okay. I guess I'm gonna do it. Let's try out this piece. What? <laughs> ah! You're helping, little one. Thank you. Thank you. Boss fight. Oh, yes. Oh, my. Aren't you a big boy? Allegiance. Wait, elegant, elegant, elegance. <laughs> Ow! So close. So close. Ow! Almost. You are a jerk. Is that all you've got? face man their god is watching Bayonet Bayonetta like who the heck is this woman destroying everything <laughs> uh, we need to collect three two more of these pieces so what I follow you oh my goodness hold on little one I want to see what's going on over here
If you don't mind, I need you see, you see, I need to explore. Thank you. Oh. Can I walk on that? No, I can't. I guess that's it. Not, not much to look at anymore. For sure this is par Paradisio. See is how everything looks so heavenly. I'm trying. I just can't help but to always linger. And explore these areas. I'm not doing <laughs> Stop sitting around. You know what? Get going. Get going. I'm close to getting all these. Hold on, little one. There's another Stop book over sitting here. Around. I was about to shoot him. Guardian. Where are you? Never rush a lady. Oh good, we didn't miss it. Guardian, God made a special place to protect his remembrance of time, which came to be known as the Guardian of God. I mean the Garden of God. The Garden needed a strong protector to watch over his creations. The Guardian was a robot-like soldier built to obey only the orders of its creator. It could change its form freely to whatever would defeat its opponent in the swiftest manner possible. With time, humans discovered a fear fearful soldier God had created and imitated this technology to build their own soldier of war, the Golem. The Golem was originally intended to be used as a protector of their homelands. Its power became too great to control. Eventually, mankind was left with no other choice but to steal, steal Golem off in another dimension. As for the original guardian that God created, what it's what it's doing now is anyone's guess. Who knows, it might still be lying in wait somewhere, keeping its territory safe from intruders. Uh, this means it's not the safest... Wait, this means it's not the safest bet to be loitering around in any kind of uh, sacred realm, if you catch my drift. Little one? <laughs> Excuse me. Since we came back to this realm, I wonder... No. The pots would have been there. I was going to go all the way back to get more pots so we can get more money. But not enough cash. I don't have enough. Alright, little one. What do you want me to do? Oh, that's pretty. I like the colors. Take care of this. What? Oh, so I'm going in? Okay. Here we go. Moon Pearl. Both pieces fit together and form a... Yay, we got a Moon Pearl! Which increases our magic. I'm pretty sure we can get... Destroyed it, Bayonetta. Ooh, you in trouble. Ooh, you in trouble now, Bayonetta. What have you done? You are in trouble. What have you done? Okay. Oh, I was prettier before. Okay, well, had to be done. What? Right, 
Oh. Hang on, Loki. What are you doing? What do I have to do? Oh, we do this again? What? We're turning back time. Oh, to fix another building. I love this game, guys. I'm loving the adventure. I'm loving the adventure. Hang on, little one. I see something over there that I need. this. A mega purple magic lollipop. Giant candy that increases alertness. So we destroyed the blasted thing. Are we trying to go back towards it again? And we got pushed away. If we're going back towards it, it's like we've destroyed the, the barrier and now we're going all the way back towards it. <laughs> we got pushed far away from it. Oh, no. Feed my darling. Don't you even think about it. Nice dodge. Ow. Gold. That was a nice workout. Mm, it was. <laughs> GG. Oh, we still don't have enough. Come on, game. Maybe with this, it will be enough. <laughs> no, of course not. Little one, I need more money. I know. But would you flock off? I'm trying to find more money and explore these areas. You'll never know we might find a broken heart or more magic. I'm gonna go just in case. We need to Diplomacy find- Diplomacy has failed. Thank goodness <gasps> capitalism still has its place in hell. Let's do business. <laughs> yeah, we need it. That's what I'm trying to get, guys. I'm trying to get uh, this one. That way we can get more rewards. Yeah, no point of doing that. Let's go back. Let's keep going. Coming. <gasps> Try to keep up. Oh. oh, I'm such a fool. Maybe if I would have gone to Rodan, we would have gotten more of some stuff. I am such a fool. 
because like if we would have gone to Rodan before in the other area um, and we come back we would have gotten some those those things would have responded damn oh well it is what it is look around look around make sure you another area to look at to go to I guess that's it. Stop sitting around. This place again, Twilight Court Courtyard, but in Paradiso. Stop sitting around. Here they come. Time for you to meet your fate. Let's keep moving. Still not enough. Can you believe this, boys and girls? We're not getting enough. They're teasing us. All right, where are you going? What in the world is this? What, what? I know, I know, but what do we do? Are we gonna go down? Down the water. <gasps> Interesting. Under the sea. Well, it's kind of like in the first game, we get to revisit some of these Areas, but in Paradiso, uh, in the Paradiso dimension. Now we're going backwards, just like the way we did it in the first game. They're just reusing some of the same models and architecture levels to repeat itself. <coughs> Wait a minute. No, no, no. There you go. Don't forget about that, Davis. As the serpent. What's this? Let's see what's in here. What's the what's the challenge here? Oh no, more of those things. So don't fall, right? Take it. Defeat all enemies without touching the ground once. Okay. Hey guys, would you mind? Excuse me for a moment. I need to go use the bathroom. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, be right back.
come back. Let us begin. Wish me luck. Definitely be a challenge. <gasps> wow, that was toxic. Okay, little little shit. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Come on, I'm not gonna give up, boys and girls. I'm gonna keep trying. Keep trying. I feel like I need to get rid of you. Wow! Freak! Fudge! I was doing so good, I was like, oh, well, I just gotta... Take care of these guys. Okay, then. Gotta keep trying. Why you? Ah! <laughs> Stop pushing me down there, you jerk! Wow! So it's very dangerous to have that thing right there. If he does that attack, that's very dangerous. Did you destroy- You have got to be kidding me. Alright, this is gonna be a challenge. I was doing so good though. Got you. J jump! So close. Jump, Bandit! Oh my god, why do you do that, Bandit? Stop! Oh my god. I gotta keep him in the air. I gotta keep him in the air when he does that shit. You, I, I, I can't do the dodge because if she does the dodge, she goes down for some stupid reason. Okay. All right. One of those challenges that you wanted a challenge, Davis. Well, here it is. Oh my goodness! What can you? What can you do to solve this issue? No, you see, Bayonetta, why do you do that? Don't do that freaking... She dodges and she goes straight to the ground. Why do you do that? It's so stupid. I'm trying to keep him on the top. But 
I I can't. Bayonetta! Oh! Ugh! Stop it! <laughs> and why do you keep choosing different? God darn! Oh, thank God! No, Bayonetta, stop! <sighs> you have got to be kidding me. I hate those demons. I mean, I hate those angels. Let's go. And quit aiming at somebody else. Why do you aim at someone else? Aim at that demon. Aim at the main one that's giving you issues. Aim at the main freaking one. You are an idiot, Bayonetta. I hate it when she changes targets quit changing your damn targets i had i don't think i've ever had this issue until now quitch 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 quit changing your damn targets don't you dare Why do you keep missing? He's right there. Oh my God. Oh my God. Finally! Oh, what a pain in the butt that was. Mm, go. Don't deserve that, but... <clears throat> I'll take it. Oh my god, that was a challenge. That was a challenge. The challenge of like trying to keep one target. But she kept changing targets. Mm -hmm. I'm looking around. You can't tell me. Here we go. One, three to go.
What? They threw a bubble at me or what? Oh, no wonder. Gold. Guess we go follow him. But let me go collect the rings. Please tell me I collected the rings. No! Now we have enough. Uh, where's the portal? Where was it? Oh, it's up there. He needs to slow down, because what if he gets too far and then I can't catch up with him. Another challenge. No, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, another challenge, eh? There he goes. It's like I'm not gonna wait for you. See what this challenge is about. Good, nothing up. No pedestals or something. Platforms to stand on. Defeat all enemies using, using a single combo. I think we've done that before. What? I dodge. Oh. A single combo. I don't think I could do that one. I think that's the same issue I had with the first game. I couldn't do that. I think I had to kill all of them. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You have to keep it going. You have to keep it going. Don't let anything break it. Okay. Don't let anything break your combo. Keep going with the combos. Nope, 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 nope. No, keep fighting, Ben. Oh my god, why did you... Okay. These challenges now are becoming challenging. Ow! No! Why are you changing targets, Bayonetta? No! Why did she keep changing targets in that part? I don't, I don't understand what the freak was all that about. You were on a roll, Bayonetta. Stop it. Stop misbehaving. You need to watch what I'm doing. You see how she just changes target? No! Yeah, 
Keep your focus on that target. No, 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 no. You, mother. So watch out with those things that shoot that orb at you, because they can mess up your your combo. Did you? I already messed up. I messed up. See? I can't get hit. I can't get hit by those black orbs. Otherwise, the combo wouldn't. No! I need to focus. <clears throat> We're gonna keep trying, folks. We're gonna keep trying until I get this accomplishment, because I know I could do it with practice. Oh my god. Why do you all, like, stay away from each other? Stay close together so you won't be far. Use. Ah. <laughs> uh. What are you doing, Davis? No! You really gotta look around at your surroundings. There's the stupid orbs that get you stuck. No, stop moving, stop moving, stop moving. I dodged that shit. Don't you dodge me. No, keep going, keep going. Gracias a Dios. <laughs> I did it. Oh my god, I thought 
right at the very end, I was going to mess up. I thought I was not going to be able to get that last opponent. The combo was going to end. I'm just like, shit. I have to start over. But I did it. It's over. It's over. Oh, my goodness. Ruins of lost memory. No, cut it, cut it out, cut it out, cut it out, cut it out. Don't do that. Okay. Well, we got a long way up, huh? I'm gonna keep going because I don't know if there's like a save point or a checkpoint. Oh no! Let's go. Oh look, weren't, weren't we over there? I think. Look, now we can go to uh, Rodan. New chaperone. No shoes, no shirt, no service. No service. Hair doesn't count. <laughs> oh Just my god. What will it be? Finally, I like that he's saying something different. Weapons. No, 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 no. Uh, accessories. I would like to purchase this, Rodan, please. Yay! And it it becomes equipped already, right? Alright. Um, yeah. Now we got it. Hopefully we can... Uh, get more rewards when we do like those torture kills and get more rewards. Try to keep up. Oh boy. No, this thing again. Ow! Is that it? Platinum. That was easy. Wow, we got a platinum. I'm pretty sure I got hit. Okay. Alright guys. Well, I think I'm gonna save this episode for my YouTube channel. But I wanna thank you guys for watching this episode of Bayonetta 2 on my YouTube channel. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. <laughs> Those challenges, huh? Oh my goodness, those challenges, they're get, they're becoming difficult. They're really putting you, they're really putting me to the challenge now if I re really want to earn those rewards. But yep. And I'm pretty sure it's not going to be the last time we see that Lumen Sage, uh Bayonetta's father. What was his name? Father Balder. I'm pretty sure he'll come back around. He's kind of like Joan in the first game where she just keeps coming out, coming back, coming back and you got to fight her. And, so I'm pretty sure we're going to see him again. All right, guys. So, yeah, once again, thank you so very much. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope to see you guys in the next one. And don't forget, if you're interested in checking out my Twitch channel, 
just click on the link below and it'll take you straight to my Twitch channel. And I hope to see you guys there as well. Y'all stay safe. Laters!